Hello everyone, in today's video, I am going to tell you what courses you can pursue after your bachelor's in chemistry honors in Australia. Before starting the video, I would like to share with you that if you are one of those who are also considering studies in Canada, then the basic difference between the Canadian education and Australian education is that in Canada, they accept a four years bachelor's degree. So, if you are those who has three years bachelor's degree, then you can do graduate diploma courses in Canada. I have already made a video on that, so you can check that out. Now, if you are considering studies uh, in Australia, then the three years bachelor's degree is acceptable in Australia. That means you are eligible to do masters. Now, let's get started. So, what courses you can do after your bachelor's in chemistry in Australia? The first course I would like to list is Master's in Food Science. I will also list some of the universities which are providing this course. Uh, first university is University of Queensland. This university is ranked number one in Australia for food science degree and ranked uh, 20 all across the globe. So it's a very reputed university for its food science course. The advantage of doing food science from this university is that it is providing you an unpaid co-op. Uh, but the good thing is that you are getting Australian experience. Another university is the Curtin University. There are more universities like the Monash University, RMIT. The advantage of doing food science is that it's an evergreen field. And along with it, you will enjoy doing it. Another course is Masters of Teaching. So if you have done bachelors in any field, you can go for masters in teaching, either in early childhood, primary or secondary. The advantage of doing Masters of Teaching in Australia is that it's a demanding field. Second, the, you know, the fees is comparatively less as compared to other courses. And the difference between being a teacher in India and being a teacher in Australia is that in India, people do B.Ed. But in Australia, you can't do B.Ed. If you have bachelor, you have to go for masters. But if you are one of those who have completed your class 12 studies and is interested in teaching, then you can go for an integrated four year course. That is bachelor plus, uh, plus your teaching degree. There is one drawback that if you want to go in this course, then you require a very high score. That is eight band overall. So if you work hard, you can achieve this. Another course in the list is Masters in Project Management. Masters in Project Management is a demanding field and uh, the, the universities which are providing this course is Curtin University, RMIT. Another benefit of doing this course is that the fees is comparatively less and uh, if you are lucky enough and you work hard and you secure a job in this field then it will be very high paying. Another course I would like to list is Masters in Supply Chain Management. So this course is also very demanding and it has lots of scope in Australia. Universities providing this course are uh, Curtin University, RMIT. It's being a general course so anybody can do it. And yes, chemistry student can also go for it. Another course I would like to list is Masters in Environmental Science. After this pandemic hit, our, hit the world, so the scientists all across the world are very anxious about the environment. So you can get an idea that this field is going to expand in the future and it ha would have lots of job opportunities. You can take advantage of this situation and you can enroll yourself in this course. The advantage is that you will be studying various topics related to the environment which would be very much interesting in crossing and it's being a demanding field so it is comparatively easier to get a job in the future. So these are all the courses uh, which I have li listed which you can do in Australia. If you like this video turn that like button blue and 
Do not forget to subscribe my channel for more such informative videos. Thanks for watching.